Welcome back to Chronicles of the Curvaceous. You know we fabulous and tenacious. We dropping faith-based weight loss motivation. Yeah, baby. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. It has been a minute. It is Vado Day number one, and your girl has been just super, super elated this day. Um, today, I have had opportunity to celebrate my 20th wedding anniversary. Yes, I did say the 20th. Yes. Uh, God is so good. I'm so, so grateful. I'm so grateful for everybody that came out and um, just really helped me just really just, just, just enjoy and celebrate and rejoice in how far we have come. I am sorry it's taking me so long to actually get this video up, um, but it all won't be this late. They all won't be this just like rushed. Um, but like I told you all last time in my last video that I am going to go back to using, well not go back to, I'm going to start using Chronicles as my own personal video diary. Um, I realized that my sister was really up to, onto something by doing that. Um, initially that's what Chronicles was all about for her. It was a video diary. It was a opportunity for her to help herself work through um any emotional issues and everything that she needed to be able to process so she can be able to be successful on her journey and for me i think that it is going to be a good tool um in the process of really just gaining my foot and then really just finding my way in this whole um journey that i'm doing on my own um as you all know you know the history that me and my sister we started our journey together in 14 and i rely heavily on her to be my accountability partner and to really just um give me the wisdom and the insight that i needed to be successful on my journey and we did really we crushed some major goals together in 2014 um and now i'm just feeling like kind of like a fish out of water, you know, trying to find my way and trying to figure out, you know, what's the best route and just really trying to just, just learn how to live, um, alone, you know, not necessarily alone because I got a lot of people in my life, but alone on my journey and not having her to be able to be my backbone is a major process for me. And it's a lot, but, um, by God's grace, I am being able to do what I need to do. I am so, so grateful for um, each and every one of you who is supporting um, Chronicles and who is uh, believing in the vision and who have been, you know, holding up my arms in this season. You know, we talk about support and we look at it from a, you know, just a, a idea but not really realizing how um, important the actual su support of individuals is. Um, I think if I've learned anything, I learned that I truly have learned that we're stronger together. I really, really understand that um, God didn't never intend for us to be alone, you know, and he didn't intend for us to try to be facing battles by ourselves and carrying our burdens alone. Um, I often think back to the Garden of Eden and how um Adam was going through and he was doing his daily task, but the Lord looked and he saw that he didn't think it was right that Adam should be alone. And he put him to sleep and he created Eve and he gave him the help me that he needed. And we really do need that partner. We really do need that somebody who when you're strong, when when you're weak, they can make you strong. And when you're vice versa, you know, when you when they're weak, you can make them strong. And that's one of the things that I think that made me and my sister's relationship work so well because we caught each other in the spirit. Um, those days when I just really wasn't feeling like I wanted to go work out or I really just wanted to just go eat a whole box of cookies or I just really wanted to just go do something crazy. I had her to be my voice of reason and I had her to be able to encourage me and tell me, I believe in you and you can do this and you can do that. And just, I mean, when I sit and I listen to her, um, describe me, man, it just felt like 
I'm like, oh my God, like, who is she talking about? Like, and I knew she was talking about me, but I just knew, you know, my own perspective of who I was did not meet up to the actual image that she, she saw of me. And sometimes, you know, God has to give you that person that can see your full potential, that can really help pull the best out of you. And I thank God. I mean, she really did. She pulled a whole lot out of me and she pushed me to do things that I never would even try to take on myself. So, um, and I don't, I don't know if somebody click on the channel and never have, um, no, know anything about our relationship or anything. Um, not to a point where I'm obsessed with my sister or I'm not putting her on a pedestal or anything. I'm just grateful for the, um, person that she was. And I'm grateful for the support and the genuine love that she showed me. Um, it was not something that was ever forced. It was just something that just, just naturally flowed from her. She just she just naturally supported me like that. She just naturally loved me like that. And I'm just grateful that God gave, God placed her in my life so that I can get to where I need. And now I'm, I'm excited for each and every one of you that he's placed in my life. And I'm praying that um you get a chance to really uh get the consistent part and the the actual strong warrior, the the you know, compassion, the Everything that I possess, I hope, I pray that you get a chance to experience it because I understand that, you know, when you meet a person in a down season or you meet a person in a, in a difficult season, sometimes it's hard for you to really get a chance to actually get to know them and you do, for you to really get a chance to actually glean all that you may need to glean from them. So... I'm just hitting reset and I'm trying to get myself to a healthy place so that when I pour out, I'm pouring out from a, um, a reservoir that's full of nutrients and full of, in, and wisdom and insight and encouragement and all kinds of stuff. Um, and so I'm looking forward to, um, I'm looking forward to what God is going to reveal to us about our journey in the next 30 days. Um, for me, Fado used to be something I looked forward to because I knew that my sister would drop so many wisdom keys. And I knew that it would be, you know, something that I just love to watch her creativity. And I love to watch her, um, how passionate she was. She was so passionate about this work. So I just want to be able to bring that to the table too. Um, yeah, so we had, like I said, we had our anniversary dinner tonight and I made wise decisions. I ate, you know, uh, a nice healthy salad. I had the green beans. I had some, some beans. I had, I had some good size and then I ate a, I ate a piece of rib. Um, but I didn't get crazy with it. And I'm, I'm grateful that, uh, I really was just so elated just watching everybody just being able to know that I had all these people here to celebrate such a great milestone in my life. So I really didn't do a whole lot of just eating like that. And I've been on my feet, been going so much for the last couple of days. I really hadn't ate a whole lot either. Um, but I did like I, last week. I did get some Valet 30, and I've been taking my vitamins, and it has helped tremendously with my energy level and get myself where I need to be able to actually do what I need to do to prepare for this party, to just be, be getting on track with my job and everything, so I'm grateful for that. Um, but I am going, like I said, I'm on my Valet 30 now. I am... Um, going to just uh get my nutrition game all the way together i am planning to um meal prep for the holidays because i um like i de declared before i do not want to be gaining no 20 pounds just because we celebrating thanksgiving and we celebrating christmas i don't want to do that so i am going to do what i need to do to to actually shift my um 
shift the scale and really get myself to where I need to be to still end up actually um, having some success with the Sister Sister Shape Up Challenge. I'm just totally honest. The Sister Sister Shape Up Challenge has really not really been, I have really not just been feeling it because it's just not, it's just hard doing it alone. But I really think that God is shaping up my mindset. And if nothing else, if nothing else, I think that, that I'm tightening up a whole lot in internally. And I think that that, that is going to be a game changer for me. Because being uh, all over the place and not really, um, really serious or not really, you know, uh, consistent has really cost me. It cost me a lot on my journey. And I think that we have to understand that um, discipline is a major, major component of your journey. And consistency definitely um, is, is vital. You know, if you're not consistent, you're not disciplined, you're not really focused on it you can really just um undo your progress and you can really just really set yourself back and so that's why i know that me starting over and me being in the place that i'm at now is my fault because i wasn't consistent because i was just really generally just on autopilot because when things get hard I tend to shut down. I tend to go to that just busy be mode and I guess psychologically hoping that whatever I'm facing going go away and you know <laughs> you know, not necessarily I don't know, you, you I don't know, sometimes we just ignore the elephant in the room and we don't deal with it and then it costs us and so now, you know, I'm really doing this doing my work i'm doing my work i'm self-evaluating i'm really processing things so that i can um gain ground in this season i really want to um i really truly believe that that i can still um still finish strong i can still actually just you know just come out on top so that's where i'm at um this is veto day number one um i will talk to you guys tomorrow i'll let you know where my head at let you know what i'm doing um i got a, i got another event planned tomorrow i'm gonna be spending some more time with my family but you know it uh it's just it, you have to take that downtime you gotta make time for you for what's important to you um, one thing I have learned on this journey is tomorrow I promise to none of us. And we can't sit here and get so lost in the hustle and bustle of life that we miss out on what's really important. So, hey, yeah. I, I know one day I ain't going to make me just drop a whole bunch of weight. I know that, yeah, it could be a uh, setback, but at the same time, it's necessary. It's necessary to stop and smell the roses. Stop and spend time with your little one. Stop and just just be. Sometimes you just got to do that. So that's what I did. I stopped and I just embraced my day. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to embrace my day tomorrow. And I'm going to just really hit reset. Probably won't be probably in them reset on there until Monday. Y'all see, I'm, I'm getting tired, so I'm not going to uh, stay on here much longer on um, and be rude. Um, but, like I said, this this is, my focus is going to shift to being about me. But not not just about me, you know, me being transparent and me sharing with you guys uh, where I'm at or what's going on with me. I, I pray that this is going to help. Uh somebody else find their find their freedom find their, their path to um new hope and new inspiration and courage and boldness and actually a zeal and a passion for life 
You know, sometimes it just take watching somebody else um, navigate it. So I'm excited. I'm excited about what God is getting ready to take me to. I'm excited about um, what he's doing through me. And I'm excited about what he's doing in your life, too. I can't wait to hear um, about your your progress, your current season, what you need and what's going on with you. I can't wait to get to know you. Um, thank you. Thank you for rock, rocking with your girl. Rock, rocking with your girl. Yes, thank you. Uh, Y'all continue to hit like, continue to share, comment, because, you know, Chronicles is not going away. We're not. We're just evolving. So um, I hope that you ready to take this journey with me, you know, to see what God got next, because I know he got some great plans in store for us. And I'm looking forward to it. So, if it's the Lord's will, I see you tomorrow. But in the meantime, I want you to embrace and enjoy your journey. Uh, goodbye for now.